Well, today's grass food day. His truck is all the way down there behind the trees, and I didn't know his hose was that long because he was all the way over here fertilizing the lawn. Today is the 80% chance of thunderstorms day. The roads are wet and the sun is out. So I don't know if they're coming, they're gonna miss. I don't know what the status on that is, but um, I mowed last Friday and I mowed Monday and today's Thursday and it almost looks like it's ready for it again. And now we're getting fertilized and it's likely going to rain later today. So it is gonna be just shooting up. Uh, we can also see a ton of moving trucks across the street. Today's move out day apparently. Uh, they got a big one there and another one in front of the house and there's the current owners. I don't know what that is. Sebring, Chrysler Sebring convertible. So looks like we're getting our new neighbors probably next Monday. In other news, it is approaching 12 o'clock. I have eaten breakfast and I am now dressed. Uh, it's my official first day off. I took it upon myself to sleep in. That's a good way to start summer. Um, I don't, as I mentioned yesterday, I don't have much going on today. I'm going to take the Genesis back, get the three. I'll have that back here. Um, I don't even remember the state of that. I don't know how much gas is in it. I'm pretty sure it's dirty. hope it starts. It's been like a week. I'll check things out at the house, do a walkthrough. Um, I don't think we've had any offers yet or there's no sale pending or anything like that. And then later this afternoon I'll stop in the Larrick Motorsport. I really hope that tool showed up and they're making some progress. He wanted to have it on Tuesday. And then yesterday he said he was going to have it yesterday. But it's these dealerships that, I don't know, they can't find it or something. So it's, it's, it's dumb. But I'll let you know what I find out later. Alright guys, I got the 330 back. Drop the Genesis off. This thing drives completely differently than the three. And Kenan's getting a new driveway. In fact, currently he has no driveway. It's down to dirt and rocks. Very nice. Maybe he'll uh, get to turn off DSC in the M5 and go mudding tonight in his driveway. Look at that license plate. It's got the Superman logo and it's Bon Jovi. That's sweet. It's on a Dodge Caravan too. You know you're Superman when you drive a Dodge Caravan. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's an update is due. It's 1:36. Ken and Megan were here for a bit. We hung out. We watched some Netflix. Uh, before that, I had a super productive day. Um, got two yards done. It was supposed to rain really kind of all day today, and it didn't until like 11 tonight, maybe 12. Um, so I got two yards, both of them across the street, mowed, trimmed, blew the clippings around. It looks great. Um, stopped in at, at Larry's Motorsport, and um, this is not my M5, <laughs> as seen by uh, the, the dirty, dirty wheels that kind of neglected to clean. So we have a O2 in here. Uh, seeing that Kenan has a driveway that's not drivable on and he doesn't want to leave this outside in the rain overnight. So being the just incredible person I am. Uh, obviously this takes this takes a priority over the three and the Genesis is back where it belongs. So it's in here nice and clean and dry tonight and then he'll come tomorrow morning and pick it up. Uh, so uh, anyways, stopped in Larrick Motorsport, walked in, transmission still on the ground. So that's, you know, four days of, well, as far as I can tell, zero progress. So I'm like, you know, what's going on? So um, turns out that a, one of the BMW dealerships around here was able to locate the tool and they're unwilling to lend the tool out for fear of not getting it back, broken policy. I don't know what it is, but they won't give it to Larrick Motorsports. So instead, and I don't know how this works at all, the only thing that I noticed that was missing from uh, the setup was the pressure plate. So I guess the pressure plate is what has to be adjusted with this clutch self-adjusting clutch reset tool. So the pressure plate's gone. I guess the dealer has it. They're going to do whatever uh, that has to have done to it and then bring it back hopefully tomorrow. Well, that means the ball's in their court and I don't trust these dealers worth shit. If it comes back tomorrow, then the transmission goes back in, the drive shaft, the exhaust, whatever, and it's ready to go. Uh, he has worked on the engine a little more. The plenum's on. Um, he's done as much of the air intake, air boxes and, ho and tubing as, as he can. Without the transmission in there, the engine sits at an angle and you can't get everything to line up right. So it's all pending that, you know, nothing else, the chassis braces, the heat shields, uh, the splash guards, none of that stuff can go on until the transmission's in. So we're waiting on the dealership to get this flywheel or this uh, pressure plate done, bring it back and then put it together. 
I'm supposed to have the car tomorrow. I don't see that as likely unless that dealership's there at 9 a.m. with the flywheel or the pressure plate ready to hand over and then he works on it all day. And that's very unlikely from a dealership. Uh, so I'm, I'm setting my expectations for Wednesday or by Friday next week. Um, that gives them time to put everything back together. It needs a four wheel alignment. Um, that's also assuming that everything works right. Start the engine, the engine starts, the engine runs well. It uh, doesn't have a bunch of codes that need to be diagnosed and fiddled with. Um, if everything goes well, it'll be in the middle of next week. And, you know, we wanted to hear it Friday, and then we wanted to hear it Monday, and then Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and now it is oh, a whole other week later, and the progress is negative. The transmission's on the ground now, but that's the way it is. We're dealing with it, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, see progress tomorrow. So I'm going to go in tomorrow late afternoon, check things out. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow at 1 p.m., so I'm going to get in there and do that. Tomorrow's supposed to be decent. I don't think I'll be able to mow anymore, seeing that it's going to rain all night and totally saturate everything. But uh, we'll get as much done as we can tomorrow. I'll keep you guys in the loop. Otherwise, I don't think there's really any other news. I'm tired and I'm going to bed. It's Thursday, which means it's clock winding day. And I'm actually going to speed this thing up a little bit. I think it's running it here slow. So I'm going to raise the pendulum, raise the, raise the weight on the pendulum up a little bit. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow on Friday. Good night.